you know, you've done some cracking uh, poems uh, the last couple of weeks uh, on, on the show. I really appreciate uh, you, you doing those. This is a, a live one, though. Um, can you tell us what, what your poem is for this week? Now, this is partly uh, provoked or inspired by Crispin, not the writing of the poem, but in terms of the poem I choose to read. So if anyone in the Irish poetry world is offended by this, uh, it is this man with the hat's fault, so they can address all complaints and they can also get in touch with the uh, Labour Party complaints. Yeah. Um, uh, and Teddy Ryan, Teddy Ryan. Teddy the Ryan, tear yeah. off Teddy yeah. Ryan and he will yeah. uh, make sure that you're uh, dealt with as brutally as possible. I have absolutely no doubt. Um, <laughs> um, Crispin noticed a discussion about a, a particular poem, the Biden inauguration poem uh, online. Uh, and uh, we get a little bit of, we get the thing that happens in the comedy world where people who are actually deeply conservative or rather have become deeply embedded and conservative uh, as they've gone on, the likes of the mock the weak crowd and so on, we have a poetry version of that absolutely, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, but in the last, say, 10 years, I've noticed that everyone wants to claim to be edgy or radical without it really, you don't even have to dig without it really being the case. So uh, there was a discussion which I observed, I didn't say anything on Facebook a few months ago, um, asking who was the most risk-taking poet in Ireland. And some of the most banal people in Western Europe were involved in this discussion. So I wrote a satire on this. So this is dedicated to the kind of poetry world versions of Alan Davis and Darrow Bringen and the rest of them. Um, the most risk-taking poet in Ireland. My split infinitives, clearly the work of a man who dries his clothes recklessly, sometimes not emptying the lint tray two cycles in a row. At the height of my experiments with formal verse, I once drove a Ford Focus at a tantalizing 29 kilometers per hour when the legal limit was 30. During my decadent prose poem phase, I tiptoed past a locked apartment door behind which, I'm pretty sure, there was an orgy going on. Under the influence of Samuel Taylor Coleridge, I once took one more paracetamol than I should have. In a rare outbreak of concrete poetry, I yesterday regrouted the shower myself. Trying to mimic Rimbaud vanishing in Abyssinia back when I was young and even more foolish than this, I once accidentally went to Dorset. My contribution to metaphor in the 21st century is at least as important as the cat yawning. Risk for me is going to a different garden center at least once every five years. So thank you very much. I'm sure that will get me uninvited to every major literary festival in Ireland and absolutely to the UK. And I expect the nod to succeed Simon Armitage as the poet laureate, for which I would be eligible, having been born in London. Thank oh, you, you could be the poet. Could we do a, a petition for that, an online petition to get you to be poet laureate? Would you, you, you approve that? For anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that was that was fantastic. I, I think you you really do um you do live on the edge, uh, Kevin, uh, and uh, that was that was amazing. Thank you so much for coming on again.